Getting started on your first web design project in Adobe XD is simple and easy. With a number of pre-configured artboard templates to choose from, you can hit the ground running designing for the most common screen sizes. XD's canvas allows you to create multiple artboards and position them anywhere within the canvas, allowing easy organization of content into flows and groups. Guides make it easy to create horizontal and vertical guidelines for content. Simply drag your cursor in from the top or the left of the artboard to create horizontal and vertical guides. Shapes and elements will snap to the guides to ensure precise positioning. If you're working on a responsive web design project, using the layout grid option on artboards will create a series of column guides. The spacing and size of these guides can be adjusted to fit your desired layout. Sections can then be drawn out and snapped to these columns. As the artboard resizes, the layout grid adjusts with it. Alternatively, the square grid displays a grid across the entire artboard of a specified size, allowing elements to be positioned and snapped to the grid both horizontally and vertically. When moving objects in increments with keyboard hotkeys, elements will snap to the grid and move in increments based on the grid sizing. So if you have an 8 pixel grid set up, the objects will move in increments of 8 pixels rather than the default 10. As the design comes together, layout changes may need to be made. The more detail and content that gets added to a design, the more tedious these changes can be. Thankfully, with stacks, layout headaches are a thing of the past. On this page, I have three sections. Each one is an individual group. Selecting all three and creating a new group provides an option to enable stack on the right. With my content now in a stack, reordering the sections is as simple as clicking and dragging. Other groups of content can contain stacks as well, like the image gallery. Clicking and dragging on these images allows for horizontal reordering, making layout changes quick and painless. Creating reusable web elements like buttons is easy too. Here I have a button created with a rectangle and text box. I can make this a reusable component by clicking Command or Control K or by clicking the plus next to Component in the top right. Enabling padding on this element will ensure that spacing around the button label remains consistent as I change the text in various instances. To mimic how this button should be implemented on the web, I'll create a hover state to indicate its behavior when a user mouses over. With the component selected, clicking on the plus next to default state and selecting hover state will create a pre-prototype state for me. With this new state selected, changing the parameters and style of the button will define that new state. Previewing this design, as the mouse moves over the button, XD seamlessly transitions between the two states using auto animate. Components and states can be created for any reusable element like navigation bars, cards, buttons, and more. All your components appear in the assets panel and can be dragged onto the canvas to create a new instance. If you're working on a website that uses navigation to scroll to various sections within the page, anchor links in Adobe XD will help you prototype that experience. With your navigation item selected, simply click and drag the blue arrow to the group or element you wish to scroll to. Clicking and dragging the Y offset handle on the left will set a precise location for the scrolling effect. When you're ready for feedback from your team or to conduct user testing, sharing your web designs is as simple as navigating to share mode. XD provides four pre-configured share modes, allowing you to set up your links exactly as desired. To share assets marked for export, design tokens, and design specs, select development. XD will automatically detect that you're working on a web-based project from the size of the artboards you're sharing, making it easy for development teams to access the assets they need with the click of a button. CSS snippets are also available, so developers can copy and paste code snippets for buttons, cards, and other elements. From setting up precise layouts with guides, grids, and stacks, to creating rich interactions with AutoAnimate, Adobe XD equips you with the tools you need to create amazing web experiences.